Valentine's Day weekend means long hours at Smith Floral in Hazleton. Workers are busy arranging roses, and you won't find a lot of men in the store. It's just too early for many of them to shop, but Sunday afternoon and Monday morning, they'll be here asking for that special last-minute something for their special someone. It really is uh, more a guy holiday this holiday. Although the women are, are moving in there and trying to send the guys some roses too, but uh, the men like to make it a, a, a really special holiday. A dozen roses will set you back about $60, but the bucks don't stop with the flowers. <laughs> Folks looking for something sweet for their sweetie often stop at Victoria's Candies. The Hazelton store will have extended hours this weekend. Again, bracing for the traditional rush of last-minute shoppers. If you are torn between roses and candy, there are always candy roses. Well, it's busy. Busy this time of the year. Uh, have a lot of hearts here and a lot of gentlemen that are out uh, getting candy for their girls and their mothers. Eventually, a lot of Valentine shoppers will end up at the card store. You can already find a few bare spots on the shelves at the Heritage Shop at the Laurel Mall. Monday morning, workers will get the usual last-minute visitors. They'll sell a lot of cards. The advice is free. But they'll uh, ask suggestions, my life likes this, and then we'll go and, you know, try to help them out to see what's left. But usually there's nothing left, and then they just end up saying, okay, we'll put money in a card. <laughs> if you believe nothing says love like a money card, there's still plenty of time to shop. But for others, the flowers and the chocolates are going fast. Soon, all that'll be left are the excuses. Fred Letieri, News Watch 16, Hazleton.